NBA 2K22 is here, y'all. What is good? RCA the Gray here. We're about to go over a quick tutorial on how to call plays, how to set your freelances, how to set your series in NBA 2K22, just to make sure your offense is a little bit more dynamic out there and you're a little bit more frustrating on the offensive end. I am thoroughly enjoying NBA 2K22. It is way better, a huge improvement. So hopefully this gameplay is going to continue but let's just get right into the tips. This is just a basic video. Like I said, going over some of the basics of calling plays. If that's your play style, this is going to be the video for you. So one of the first things you want to do is head over to your game plan. Press pause or press the start button on your controller. Head over to game plan and you're going to be going down to your offensive settings. Depending on the playbook you have, you're going to have a different series of plays in your starter plays and then your bench plays. You're going to have different sets of plays for each, so you're going to have to set them differently. I wish 2K would switch that up, but we're going to start off with the starter plays. And as you can see, I have different plays selected from my playbook, and I can scroll through those, or I can just press X and I can select a different play. So when I press X, I'm going to go into the play menu and I can put something else in each slot. So we have Fist 21 Chase as my first play. And if I wanted to select that for Russell Westbrook himself, I can just press triangle, scroll over to him, and then hit X on his player icon. So let's jump onto the court. And as you can see, if I hit left on the D-pad, I'm going to bring up my favorite plays menus. The plays that I just brought up will pop up here. And I'm able to run plays in the game and my team will respond to what's going on. As you can see, there's also lines on the court that show me what to do, show me when a screen is coming. If you want that on your screen, make sure you hit pause once again. You're going to go over to options, coaches settings, or actually your game plan coaches settings. Make sure you have play vision on user plays or all in your play vision display on full. That will allow you to have all plays be shown in the game. Now, once again, we get the ball to Russell Westbrook. We're going to come to the court. And if you wanted to just call a play for him, you're going to hit L1, press this icon, which is X, and you're going to scroll over. And now these are all plays that are specifically for Russell Westbrook. So these are not your favorite plays. These are plays that you're calling specifically for a player. It does take longer. So I don't fully recommend it, but there are times that I do use this in games. We just call this nice play for Russell Westbrook. We get a nice alley-oop into Anthony Davis. Boom, shaka laka. I like the new alley-oop animation as well. Let me know if you guys like that new alley-oop animation with the press and square to time it. It is kind of a little bit more skill-based. One more thing with call in plays. You can get the ball to someone else on the court and they can initiate one of the favorite plays that you have. So if you want to use your favorite plays and then call it with somebody else on the court, maybe your small forward or your shooting guard. As you can see here, I passed the ball to Malik Monk and now he is going to actually initiate the play call from the five plays that I set up in my favorite plays. Now we have some play action going on. We get the ball out to Russell Westbrook, try to get it inside of Anthony Davis for a nice mismatch, but KD gets the nice block. Good defense right there by KD. So that's the play calling, but we also have freelances in the game. You have four different freelance slots in your pause menu. You also have series, which we'll go over. You can select the different freelances you like based on what you like to run from here, or you can also do this in the pause timeout screen. When you're in the timeout screen, you just press triangle to go over to your game plan. You're going to scroll over to your offensive sets, and now you can see different things that you can choose from two-man action, three-man action. You can run two-three zone style of offense, and then you can switch your primary focus to freelance, series, or whatever you would like to do. If you want to run a specific series, you want to set it to series. But if you want to run your freelance, you can just set your freelance in that set spot right there. And then when you get on the court, you will be able to change both of these from the menu on the court. I recommend setting this in timeout so that it sticks because sometimes on the court, it doesn't do exactly what it's supposed to do. I have to do some more research and make sure why you're on court setting sometimes switch. But while you're on the court, what you're going to do is you're going to press right on the D-pad. And as you can see, the offensive option comes up. In the bottom, you see the series and the freelance. You actually do have to scroll all the way down to those and then press X on it. So it doesn't give you different button icons. I wish it did. Once you press X, you're going to slide over or slide down and you see different series there that you can choose from. 
Once you select the series you want, your team will get into it and then you can start your play. It does take rather long. I hope they update this to make it quicker. But as you can see right here, I'm ready to set my freelance real quick with Russell Westbrook. We're going to get into that Hawks 2018. I'm going to set it right from the on-court settings. I actually hit series by mistake. Go down to freelance. Go down to 2018 Hawks. And we're going to be starting to get into our five out if we want to do that. And we get into the lane for an easy layup. But, yo, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Very basic, just to get you guys started off. If you're new to calling plays or freelancers or series and want to start setting those, that's how you do it. I'm going to be going over some playbooks this year, looking into some freelances and series for you guys. If you have some in mind that you would like to know, let me know, and I can go over them. I'm also going to be doing some favorite plays of the week, some money plays of the week, and things like that. Just stay locked. Rock with your boy. And we're going to get going. NBA 2K22 is here. Let's get it.